In recent years, there is a rising popularity for local motion robots that can move in confined space, such as firing through ruins to search earthquake survivors. One of the most feasible methods to design such robots is learning from animals, such as earthworm. Now, let's briefly have a look at body structure and local motion mechanism of the real earthworm. In terms of body structure, there are three points need out concern. The first is the segmentation of the earthworm's body. We see that the earthworm's body is divided into many segments by septa. Each segment can work independently with no influence on adjacent segments. The second point is the muscular system of earthworms consists of circular muscles and longitudinal muscles. When circular muscles contract, the diameter of the segment will be reduced but the length will be extended. Longitudinal muscles have opposite functions. Another important component of the earthworm is the seta. When longitudinal muscles contract, the seta will be stretched out to contact the environment, increasing the friction force between the body and the environment. In terms of local motion mechanism, retrograde peristaltic wave is the characteristic feature of the earthworm. In the schematic illustration of the local motion mechanism, the dark color segments are in their shortest and fattest state, while light color segments are in their longest and thinnest state. Hence, dark color segments have additional friction force against the environment. This will anchor them against the environment. As you can see, alternative contraction of circular and longitudinal muscles occurs in all segments, which leads to forward motion. Dark color segments move in opposite direction to the crawling direction, forming the so-called retrograde parasitic wave. Finally, it has been found that earthworms can adjust their gait based on environments. Hello, my name is Chen Hao Wang. I'm a junior student of mechanical engineering. This summer, I worked in the structural dynamics and controls lab with guidance from Professor Kung Wei Wang and PhD student Hong Bing Fang. My short project mainly focuses on the design and fabrication of an earthworm-like locomotion robot. The purpose of this project is first to verify whether our design is feasible, and then based on the gate generation algorithm to construct locomotion gates, and finally to verify the theoretical results on gate optimization. Here is a SOLIDWORKS model and photo of a single segment. Here's one segment of the prototype. It is composed of one servo motor, eight spring steel strips, one servo motor driven cord, and two end plates. When the servo motor rotates, the distance between two end plates will be reduced due to this servo motor driven cord, but st spring steel strips will expand in diameter. Uh, so this expansion will anchor this one segment to the inner wall of the pipe. So let's see the deformation process of this one segment. Connect this one segment to the control board and use lab view program to control its rotation. Now we set the rotation angle to 130 degrees. As we can see, uh, when the servo motor rotates, the distance between two end plates is reduced and the spring steel strips will expand outward. Now, if we, if we counterclockwise rotate this servo motor, it will return to its original relaxation state. Then we want to know the radial and longitudinal deformation of a single segment. Theoretically, based on the large deflection theory of the elastic beam, we calculated the radial deformation. Meanwhile, based on the geometry relation, we calculated the longitudinal deformation. Experimentally, we used the laser machine and data collection equipment to get the deformation. So here is the laser machine we used and here is the data collection equipment. The following two figures show the comparison between theoretical values and the experimental values for axial and radial displacements of one segment. We see that the experimental results agree well with our theoretical prediction. Based on these two figures, the rotation angle of the motor and the path diameter can be selected. Based on the retrograde peristaltic wave, a gate generator is designed on LabVIEW platform based on Hongbin's research. 
Here is the interface of the program. We can specify the number of segments, initialize the gate parameters and motor parameters, and finally, the local motion gate can be generated. We use a three-segment robot to prove our design feasibility. Our robot can crawl horizontally in the path. can also climb vertically up in the path. This is a SOLIDWORKS model of an 8-segment robot. An 8-segment robot is produced to carry out some experiments on gate optimization. According to Hongbing's research, different gates correspond to different kinematic and dynamic phenomena. On one hand, average speed of the robot varies with the gates. On the other hand, backward slippage of the anchor may happen, which can further affect the speed of the robot. First, we compare the average speed for all possible gates of a segment robot. Qualitatively, the experimental results will coincide with the theoretical results. Second, we use two gates to illustrate the backward slippage of the anchoring segments. Here is how the robots move. Only one segment is anchoring, three segments are contracting, and three segments are relaxing. Time histories of the displacements of each segment are obtained. We see that the robot has some backward slippage in this case. When two segments are anchored and three segments contract, the robot doesn't have any slippage. As a bio-inspired device, the presented Earthworm-like robot has promising future of application in many fields. For example, they can crawl in slender industrial pipelines to inspect and clean foreign objects. Also, they can perform secret movement in battlefield to gather intelligence. However, we can further increase the number of segments to observe more interesting dynamic phenomena. Also, you can develop robots with other actuators. Finally, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to my advisor, Dr. Wang, and PhD candidate Hong Mingfeng. During four months, they teach me a lot, not only on the implementation of the project, but also the method of scientific research. I have learned much from you along the way, and you have made my experience at SDZ I want and I will never forget.